Origin has several useful features to streamline the workspace organization of large projects with many windows. These features are the Window Arrange dialog, Preset Location Snapping, Empty Workspace Snapping, Window Border Snapping, Window Swapping, and Window Dividing. Let's take a look at how we can organize windows using the Arrange Windows dialog. Here we have a project with nine windows. To open the dialog, go to Window and Arrange Windows. By default, Origin will automatically select the number of columns to arrange. We can simply uncheck Auto and type in the preferred number of columns if necessary. The Sorting Order dropdown has four options. By Window Activated Order, by Project Explorer Order, by Window Name Ascending, and Descending. The Window Activated Order will sort the windows by the order they were activated. The first window clicked will be the last sorted, and the last window clicked will be sorted first. The Project Explorer order will sort by the order listed in the Project Explorer. We can minimize this dialog to rearrange the order in the Project Explorer. Then we can restore the dialog to apply the changes. Choosing either of the two by window name options gives us two additional settings, window name and first by window type. Window name allows us to sort the windows by either short name or long name. They will be sorted either alphabetically or numerically depending on the format of the names. The first by window type checkbox will set the window type, such as graph or workbook, as the highest sorting priority. The direction by horizontal or vertical simply sets the sorting order to arrange by either rows or columns first. If we want to cascade our windows, instead of tiling them, we can check off the Overlap Each Column option. The offset here controls the offset of the cascade. And as with many of Origin's dialog options, a theme can be saved if there is a preferred window arrangement. Origin snapping features allows us to quickly resize and set the locations of our windows. There are a number of preset locations that our windows can snap to. Click and drag the windows to the middle of each edge to snap to that half of the workspace. We can also drag to the top and bottom corners to snap to that quarter of the workspace. We can also snap windows to an empty workspace by holding down shift while there is a window on our cursor. This window will now automatically snap to all available horizontal space. As for the vertical space, it will snap contextually based on the relative grid formed by the other windows. Here is an example of the window snapping to the graph on the right. If you move the window down, it will snap based on the graph to the left. Here are a few more examples. A green border indicates when two or more windows have snapped together. These borders can now be dragged simultaneously to resize the windows. We can click and hold the green border to see the linked windows shown in blue. If we want to move only one edge, we can hold shift while selecting an edge to temporarily disengage the green border. The entire suite of window snapping features can be toggled on or off by using Ctrl plus F12 or from the Window menu. The last two window snapping features are Window Swap and Window Divide. Window Swap is engaged by holding the Alt key while there is a window on the cursor. This can be a quick way to reorder our project windows. The pink indicates the initial window location, and the blue is the location being swapped to. Another useful way to use this feature is arranging the smaller windows to act like thumbnails and then swapping them to larger window locations to enlarge them and bring them into focus. We can create the previous small windows by using the Divide Windows feature. This feature is engaged by holding Shift while there is a window on the cursor. The blue indicates where the window on the cursor will be set and the pink will be the location of the window being divided. Here we will demonstrate how the windows can be divided. They can be split right or left, top or bottom. 
This feature is useful for reducing window footprint or if there are windows which are best viewed side by side. I hope this video helps you to organize your Orchard projects and thanks for watching.